Magnus Carlsen, the man who took the world of chess by storm. Carlsen is no longer just a name, but a world-renowned brand. At a young age, he made his mark in the world and continues to do so. In this video, we will go through a typical day in the life of this world-famous chess hero and reveal his number one secret to success. Chess is anything but an easy sport. While conventional sports require physical fitness, chess requires you to think clearly, act quickly, and make moves that your opponent will never see coming. Which is why, despite being a small board game, chess is regarded as one of the most difficult sports in the world. One that not everyone has the ability to master. But Magnus Carlsen is a name that entered the world of chess at the age of 15, and since then he has managed to become a legacy when it comes to the name. Carlsen became a world chess champion at the age of just 22, and since then no one has been able to slow him down. So what does a day in the life of this pro player look like? Let's find out. Magnus Carlsen was born in Norway where his father taught him how to play chess when he was just 5 years old. He would play the game so often that it barely took him any time to master complex moves and win even the most difficult of games against his father and pretty much anyone else who took him on. He started entering local chess championships which is how he started to make a name for himself in the arena. Arena. In January 2004, he won his first tournament at Wyk an Zee, Netherlands. Although he was playing in the lowest rated group against adult players, his domination of the tournament earned him the nickname Mozart of Chess, which has stuck to him even to this day. In 2013, Carlsen entered the World Chess Championship and defeated Indian chess player Viswanathan Ananad in the finals to take home the title of the World Chess Champion. Not just that, but Magnus also became the youngest player to ever hold the title, which only showed how talented this new player really was. Since then, the chess prodigy has never looked back as he takes on challenge after challenge and winning round after round. But don't be fooled, because being the best chess player in the world doesn't come without its fair share of struggles. For the most part, Carlsen is almost always on the road, heading to his tournaments and games. About 200 days out of the whole year, the chess player is away from home. However, when he is on the road, he makes sure to take care of his physical health to make sure that his senses stay sharp and his mind is working at its full potential. A typical day when Carlsen is out participating in tournaments starts off early. When he's traveling, he likes to replace his routinely morning orange juice with something a little more healthy like plain or chocolate milk to give him the immediate energy boost he needs for a whole day of playing chess. The chess player deals with some blood sugar issues which is why he makes sure that the first thing he does in the morning is to eat well to make sure that he doesn't tire himself out during games. As far as his diet goes, Magnus Carlsen is a strict vegetarian. He usually likes to swap his meals with superfood smoothies, acai bowls and juices for a quick boost of energy. But if he has the time, the chess player likes to fix himself salads of all kinds, topped with avocados, walnuts and pumpkin seeds. He's a huge fan of Asian foods and flavours, so for dinner he usually likes to settle for a simple stir fry with some seasoned vegetables. He also relies on plant proteins like beans, nuts, seeds or hemp protein and drinks water throughout the tournament to keep himself going. After his morning meal on a regular day, Carlson likes to head straight to training. Now if you ever look at him training, you'll probably think that he's some world-class athlete because of the rigorous physical routine that he puts his body through. But why does chess require Carlsen to run on the treadmill for hours and lift weights every single day? Well, that's because a single game of chess can go on for not just hours, but also entire days with a few breaks in between. And through physical exercise, the player builds his tolerance to fatigue. He likes to train his core through practices like yoga and games like soccer to ensure that his body is always prepared to support his brain during his never-ending chess games. So we've talked about everything that Carlsen likes to do in a day to make sure that he stays on top of his 
game at all times. But what about his personal life? Well, before we tell you that, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you've liked it so far, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more. Alright then, let's get back to what we were talking about. The truth is that the chess player doesn't really like to waste his time going out and partying. However, his schedule on his off days tends to get pretty demanding as well because of his commercial deals, appearances, and of course, his social commitments. Most of the player's social activities also include playing games with his friends and family. The player also likes to check in on social media every few hours a day, posting updates about his trainings or meals. He's a simple man who likes to wake up early, train, and then sleep early so that he can do it all over again the next day. He likes taking regular breaks throughout his busy days because he believes that a relaxed mind is the most important trick to becoming a chess player. During his tournaments, he likes to conserve as much energy as he can while still fitting in a few hours of his regular workouts. His day ends with the Grandmaster playing a few rounds of chess with himself, moving the pieces around and trying to figure out new techniques, combinations and positions that he can attack his future opponents with. One once Carlton is satisfied with all the progress he has made in a day, he heads to bed, ready to take on the next day with just as much enthusiasm.